Hello, my name is Adam Rifkin, and welcome back to Trailers from Hell. You know, Hollywood really should erect a statue to Ed Gein. Sure, he was a sadistic, cannibalistic, necrophilic, skin suit wearing, mother obsessed psychopath. Uh, but if it wasn't for Ed Gein and his murderous exploits, we wouldn't have Psycho and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and uh, the uh, Silence of the Lambs and a whole host of others, including the movie you're about to see, Deranged. This is where we must stop, for beyond is the work of madness. So Deranged was made in 1974, and it was directed by Alan Ormsby and Jeff Gillen. Uh, and it's basically the story of Ed Gein, although his name was changed to Ezra Cobb, but uh, it's still the same story. The film is pretty factual. Ormsby, in addition to being a writer and a director, was also an effects makeup artist, and he worked with then unknown uh, makeup effects guru Tom Savini on what was one of Tom Savini's first projects. Anyway, the title role is played by Robert Blossom, who's a great character actor. He was great in Christine. He actually brings a lot of pathos and humanity to this otherwise very creepy role. The budget of the film was $200,000 and was earned uh, by producer Tom Carr, who was a concert promoter, so he used a lot of his concert promotion money uh, that he uh, made on concerts for Led Zeppelin, Three Dog Night, Rod Stewart, to finance this film. Uh, uh, a lot of people don't know this, although why would they? Because a lot of people don't know a lot of things about this film, but a young Harvey Keitel actually auditioned for the role of Ezra Cobb. Um, that would have been an interesting turn of events. In the grand tradition of Ed Gein Hollywood movies, it's by no means psycho, uh, but um, it's not a bad movie about the Ed Gein story, so check it out if you would.